Hello, this is Ivo. I play in a band called Cellar Darling and this is my Aristides 060. I play this guitar since about a year, a little bit more. And I heard from Aristides through the internet, through uh, YouTube, I guess. It's made out of Arium, that's kind of a plastic. And this uh, made me very interested because uh, it's supposed to be made for, uh, especially made for touring guitarists because uh, it doesn't react to humidity changes. And this was something I was always struggling with, especially uh, flying through other countries, to uh, hot or cold countries, always made me have to set up the guitar again. So yeah, and I'm very happy with it. It really stays in tune very well. And so far, I was lucky I had never problems after long driving or long flights. Everything stays in tune and nothing needs to be uh, adjusted. So yeah, it's a very uh, modern looking guitar. And yeah, that's why I also went with uh, Fishman Fluence pickups. Those are uh, pretty new pickups from Fishman. Those are active, so they need a battery, but they have a battery pack inside and I can charge it through the USB station here. So this is pretty handy. And yeah, those pickups allow me to switch the tone. There's like uh, two different tone settings. And yeah, I just need one volume knob. I don't, I never ever use the tone knob on any guitar I have. So yeah, I just like to keep it simple as possible. I use Elixir strings and we play in a B standard tuning. So it's pretty low tuned and it goes from a 56 to a uh, 13. It's a bit weird having to play two instruments, but it's also pretty cool because I know what the guitar is playing. So it's kind of easier to, um, yeah, to, to transfer this to the bass. I'm a self-taught guitar player. I just picked up just an acoustic guitar and I was I just fell in love with it and yeah basically from there I just started playing guitar. I bought a cheap electric one and I would say I'm mainly a, a rhythm guitar player. I'm not a shredder in any kind. I like to incorporate the, the rhythmic part with kind of a melodic aspect in one and I don't want to separate like the rhythm and the leads too much. Sure, um, it's from uh, Insomnia. It's the intro riff with the first verse riff. I had this riff idea at home, and but I did not think that we would use it for Cellar Darling because it was pretty metal-like. But yeah, somehow it made it to the album. <laughs> 